But Tuesday was the first working day of the Shanghai Free Trade Zone after the National Day holiday, and it has seen a peak in visitors, especially those who wanted to register new companies as the Free Trade Zone authorities also started taking company registration on that day. For more on how things fared at the Industrial Zone today, there is a uh, reporter Ling Nan from Shanghai. Well, good evening, Ling Nan. Uh, a lot of fanfare surrounding the Shanghai Free Trade Zone, but how was the first day of business going? Hi, Zhou Yue. Today is the first day that the Shanghai Free Trade Zone authorities start accepting company registration. Despite the heavy rain and the traffic jams in the city, investors have shown their enthusiasm by turning up early in the service center to grab the opportunities of setting up their business here. Let's take a close look. The first working day after the long golden week holiday in China, bad weather doesn't stop people from coming to the service center of the Shanghai Free Trade Zone to be the first lucky ones to register their companies here. We arrived here before 7 o'clock this morning. Although it rains so heavily, we want to get the first number to register in the window. Ever since the pilot zoo was officially opened on 29th of September, the investor zeal has been on the rise. To encourage investment in the zoo, authorities have lowered the threshold and simplified procedures. The service center has put the windows of taxation, industrial and commercial bureau and other department all together. We don't need to go to different offices for stamping anymore. Setting up the company is just the first step in making the most of the opening up policies here and cashing in these opportunities. And the authorities are also exploring new rules in a more market-oriented environment. We are now using the loose entry and strict regulation policy. The registration of companies and entering market has become easier, but the regulating will be strict. While the pilot zoom is in its early stage, the boat experiment is full of uncertainties and possibilities. Whether it will achieve the targeted will take answer, uh, it will take time to answer for both investors and the government. So yeah. Well, you've been talking to some investors and also business people in Shanghai. What do they think about the establishment of the free trade zone? Well, about 5,000 people have visited the service center uh, for the information of company registration in the Zoom during a long holiday. And just today, 1,990 companies have come and inquired these details, including 577 companies have submitted their applications. And among them, about half of them are in the logistics and financial services industry. So compared with only 20 companies registered a day on average in the previous bonded era, you can tell how high the expectation is from the companies. And I also talked to some of the applicants earlier today, and they are quite optimistic about what they can achieve in future. Although um, not all of the um, uh, matched procedures and policies have been applied, and many things are still unformed, I think it's better to take the preemptive uh, move than being late, so yeah. All right, thank you, Ling Nan, for your reporting from Shanghai Free Trade Zone.